We're on our way back to the RV park. Going east. Look at us for west. Who's going first? So I said, let's get on this. Go towards the strip. Show the kids some stuff if we can. Okay. Here we get there. So we got off the bus at the strip. Just for you. Hang on. That over there is the Excalibur. Last time I was there, I took Sydney to the King Arthur's round table thing. It was great, it was a jousting event and you got to eat with your hands. What more could a kid want? Except that she didn't like the pyrotechnics. It's very windy out here today. Here is New York, New York behind me. We're standing at the base of the roller coaster and a flowery tree. Let me take you to the front to Miss Liberty herself. You know I don't come down here because I live here. This is where tourists come. But I came here today to show you. We're on Tropicana and the Strip, Las Vegas Boulevard. There's the MGM Grand and the big lion. Big story behind that lion. There used to be a different lion there when they first opened. It had its mouth open. You would walk into the lion's mouth. They changed it because Asian people would not go in through the mouth of the lion. It was bad luck. Seriously. So that lion was the second lion they put up. Well-maintained gardens. They pay big bucks to have the gardens taken care of. And here's Liberty right next to the flag. I'm going to go this way with it. You'll have black on the edges, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Beautiful, huh? It really is a nice replica. And it's better maintained than the one in New York. <laughs> Here's the, uh, the bridge that they built from the MGM to New York, New York. They're both owned by the MGM properties. I used to work here at the MGM Grand. I was the communications coordinator for the employees. I was the liaison between management and employees. I used to write their newsletter. I totally wrote the newsletter, conducted interviews, took the pictures, wrote the stories, ferreted out the stories, etc. Guess maybe I was a journalist at heart. I did all the back of the house signage for the employees, like if they had events coming up, stuff like that. I did all the back of the house signage. So here's a good picture here, right? New York, New York. Let's go up the shift. He's looking to stay in the shade. Kids, I gotta pick him up because he doesn't like the hot ground and I don't blame him. And he doesn't like escalators. See how you can get across the strip? They built those because I guess enough people got killed walking across the street. They met their kill quota, so they built the so they built the bridges. See them all? Take an escalator up to the bridge and walk across. They started doing the same thing with trestles like in North Las Vegas and stuff, but nobody uses them. I think they just had to use up the money. You know, government money so that they could get more fiscally. All right, let's move on. All right, we're on top of the bridge between New York, New York, and MGM. This is what we're seeing. This is gonna be a little bit shaky because the ground here is extremely hot and I cannot put Shifty down. My baby will like burn his little footsies. You can see that this is the bridge up on the top so that you can't fall off, but you can see traffic coming at you, which is kind of nice. And you can see most of the strip. See it? The Paris, the Aria, Monte Carlo, New York, New York, Planet Hollywood. Uh, you can see it. The Trump Tower, Treasure Island, Mirage. It's all down there. Can you see? Let's, that's uh, looking north. Here's looking south. Mandalay Bay. I used to work there. Did a lot of, uh, I did bartending there. Work the events, the fights and stuff like that. Luxor, you know, with the point on it. And of course the airport is right down there so you can see a plane taking off right now. Okay. Hello, thank you darling. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you too. Yeah, okay. 
I think people camp out and stuff up here. Hello kids, good idea. Trying to do the same, thank you. You do too, thank you. Oh, here's Jay-Z. That's definitely not Beyonce. There's the fountains. There's the lion. That's a good shot too, huh? Let's go inside the MGM. And this guy is winning, apparently. Okay, now I can put Shifty down over here in a minute. Ugh, we'll walk through the MGM. The MGM Grand. Ooh, say yes to fajitas. You don't have to break my arm. Yes! Uh, I'm not gonna do too much in here. I don't want security coming down on me. All right, we're just gonna walk through. I'm not gonna take too much footage here. You can see there are locals down here who come and they dress up in costumes and they let you take your picture with them for nothing but a tip. And the only reason they do that is because they don't have business licenses and they can't ask for money. They can't demand money. They can't demand to be paid. So they ask for tips. That's the loophole. And the city, of course, is trying to cut down on that, crack down on them so that they can make their money. Anyway, let's just take a look at the big, beautiful buildings. Here's New York, New York. Oh. Hey, I, it's okay. I live here. Okay. I'm telling the people about this. Thank you, honey, for my YouTube channel. You make money, okay? Come on, baby. He just came up and greeted me. I had to tell him I live here. I'm not gonna be giving many tips. Here you go. Oh, this day is Mr. T. All right. So here you see it. I don't think we're gonna be going too far because it's very hot. And I'd really like to get back to the RV park now because I'm getting hungry. I'm just going to go to Sam's Town's Buffet because I have a two for one. Oh, the puppy. The puppy. Buildings. I don't want to get pictures of them because then they think I'm going to tip them and I'm not abusing their talents. Okay, there you go. Gonna get back on the bus and go towards east again. Gotta pick up Shifty, bye.